All right, what is up, everybody? This is Ryan Parcel here with the Occupational Memers. Welcome to Let's Play Chrono Trigger Part 20. Today we are going to get into a fight. Today we're gonna get into a battle against some random enemies. Yeah. Now we're going to go to um, start our siege, I guess, or our invasion on Magus's castle. Oh, I didn't get any. That was, that was such a waste. I was trying to line up the double. Oh, I need to equip Frog with his new stuff. What the hell? She did no damage. He also did no damage. There we go. Hero's Badge. Increases critical hit chance with Masamune. That's actually really good. That's super good. This creepy bat following us around is... weird, to say the least. Let's try Ice Water. I think it's a full... No, it isn't. It's just a single target spell, I think, but it does a lot of damage. No, it hits everyone. Okay, yeah. So finally, we have a full... full screen... AoE ability. It does a shitload of damage. And it doesn't require Robo. Because before we only had Robo for those. What the? Get back here. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing. The big five man. The five man ice water. Ready for this? Pentakill! Oh baby. Speaking of pentakills, I got a uh, quintakill, I think they're called, in Overwatch with Diva all the other day. And it was awesome. It was all set up by a teammate, of course. You can't really get a. Uh, a it's almost impossible to get like a lot of kills with a diva ult against competent players unless it's set up, but we had like a the juiciest setup known to man with a Zarya ult and they were all locked in the corner. And Zarya just ulted and I just fucking nerfed this. And it just blew them all up. Got the the big quint duck kill. Just play the game and everything. It's awesome. I love diva. But this is not Overwatch, this is Corona Trigger. I'm actually just scrawled in blood. Beware the jugglers in the Fiend Lord's Keep. Strike them, and they tighten their defense against blows. Cast spells upon them, and they strengthen their defense against magic. Okay. So, jugglers. There it is. Eh. Fiend Lord's Keep. This is it. All the bats leave except for this one that's following us still. Alright guys, we're getting to the end here. We are getting to the end of the road. The Fiend Lord. Queso. Queso. Hello. Let's just make sure there's nothing here to grab. Just want to like fill out the map for some reason. I don't know why. So you can go to the left or right. Um, whichever way you go, there'll be like a boss at the end of it. And yeah, you'll fight that boss and then you have to go up the other way. So it doesn't matter which one we go first. Uh, I don't remember which one, which boss is which, but he's got like the three generals, Ozzy, Slash, and Flea, which are actually references to the uh, 
the rock icons, I guess, Slash from Guns N' Roses, Ozzy from Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath, and um, and Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Speaking of Red Hot Chili Peppers, I've seen them in concert, and they are amazing. I've been, like, 30 feet away from Flea himself, and not this Flea that we're about to fight. Let's play. This is kind of creepy. Just a little bit creepy, right? Okay, I can't remember if that if you fight Flea or if you fight um, Slash on this side. Oh, you fight Slash because there's a sword. Okay. Can't do anything in here, I guess. I'll just leave. Try up here. This is our treasure. Okay. Nadia, forgive me, I was wrong. Please return to the castle. Frog, you're safe. It's definitely creepy. It's our mom. Kronos, this is where you've been since the fairy had me worried sick. Hmm. Creepy. Oh look, a safe point. I wasn't here before. Wait, what? I see. The bat. Welcome, Glenn. Or should I say, Sir Froggy? Never expected to see you here. Are those your replacements for Cyrus? Lord Magus is a tad busy right now, so you have to keep burden with something. I didn't read it. After you take it up with the Master Swords and Slash and the Flea, the Magician, that is... Oh, right. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up, Ozzy. Oh, and we gotta scrap with some enemies. And all 100 beasts in this keep, of course. I don't know if there's actually 100 beasts in the keep. I don't think so. That'd be a lot. Ready for the six man? See if it kills them all instantly. I think if you get a six man kill in Overwatch, it would say Sexta kill, but I've never gotten one, so. Sexta kill. The music here, I love. This theme just like plays. Oh, well, the bat's back. Like, I don't know. Just There's no battle music here, it's just this theme constantly plays. Just the the atmosphere of this area is so so cool. Oh shit! I did not mean to hit that. Good thing I didn't have a save state there. I have I have buttons on my mouse that are all mapped to um to numbers, um, which I use for League and uh, Overwatch and stuff. But uh, I accidentally just hit one. Even death does not stop your lust to kill one another. Such foolish creatures, you humans. Creepy. This whole place is so, so creepy. In a good way. So we're gonna fight Slash in here. Let's ether up. Okay. Please help us escape this eternal suffering. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hope you guys like seeing ice water because I'm going to be using it a lot. Hmm. Seems you freed my undying slave. Such insolence. There he is. It's been ages, Slash. Let's make a save state just in case something goes wrong. And we're ten minutes in, so I think we'll fight Slash and then end the part. We'll fight Flea next time and then finish this place up. So. I'm not even dreamed you would find the courage to come here. Had Cyrus not been with you last time, your fate would have been the same as all the others. But I'm sure you'd fit right in with those skeletal servants of mine. Okay, as far as I'm aware, he has no elemental weaknesses or resistances, so... Try sword stream. Let's see how much this does. And then you just chuck an ice at him. 257. Three. Looks like he has some high magic resist. I'll try slurp slash. And weave. Yeah. Magical attacks are not doing the most damage to him really. We're gonna have Marl do some Mostly be doing some healing. Have you do a little healing too? Chrono be the DPS boy. Slash, and you can toss an aura on Chrono. Top him off, very good. Jab, lunge, thrust. This battle's not too hard, he doesn't have any big, like, full party attacks or anything that I'm aware of, so. Um, yeah, we don't need to heal this turn. You know, Frog might be doing more damage with just a basic attack because if he crits, and he's got a high crit chance with Masamune. So we'll try that and see if I can do more than... He was doing like 215, yeah, so he crit into 312. Yeah, that, that's his... That's the best he's got for AoE. Use some prowess for the first time in ages, perhaps I'll, I'd best employ... Yeah, so now he... Um, has like a second form here, and he's a lot harder here, so. We're gonna start off with an Aura Whirl. Just to top everyone off. Yeah, he's got that. Just like Chrono's Wind Slash, where he can hit a couple people at once. Do we need to heal up more? No, that's fine. Oh, that hit everyone. I think he's got like a big AoE ability here too that he might whip out. I don't know if my DPS would be higher by just attacking or slurp flashing. Yeah, he's. See, if he doesn't crit, it's lower, but if he does, it's higher, so. Oh, he only got one there. He's focusing the healer though. Okay, we're going to do 
a mid ether on Corona. I'm gonna slurp on you. I'm gonna slurp, slurp up Marl, because Marl's bay. We actually should use the ether with Frog, I think, because Marl can heal more. But whatever. Do that. and you are good, I think. 187's fine. Heal him next turn. Yeah, using Cure actually doesn't even cost more than Aura because of the... Um, the silver studs, we might as well just do that and get the full heal every time. Oh, yikes. Forgot about that attack, that did heli damage. Okay, so we want to keep everyone about above like 170-ish in case he does that combo He should be, should be close to dead. Oh, he doesn't even take damage from that. Sucks. Yikes. Let's do... Let's do that. Did the, the big cleave on Corona. Show my own cleave. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. So it seems like that's a counter attack. I'm not sure how we can avoid it. Or we have to physically attack him. You know, equipping the silver stud on Chrono might be better because of the fact that um, the main spell that he uses costs so much, but I also like having the power. Power scarf on him. There we go, got him. 500 XP, 10 TP, 1500 gold. Nice. And we get his sword, the slasher. There it is. So, gives us plus two speed, lots more attack, and I believe it has some sort of. Uh, no, nah, it doesn't actually. I thought it had like maybe some sort of higher crit chance, but I don't think it does actually. Um, that's why I didn't really care too much about getting that um, weapon for Corona, because I knew we'd get that soon. The um, the weapon from trading in the stuff. Um, in 65 million BC. Let's save here and end the part, and then next time we'll go fight Flea on the other side. Okay. 
All right, this has been Ryan Paris for the Occupational Memers. That was Let's Play Corona Sugar Part 20, I think. And uh, until next time, peace out, guys. Have a great day.